I saw this video recently about brows called like a soap brow to get like the eyebrows to stick up the way that the models in magazines normally have their eyebrows and it looks so natural so today I'm going to try that I went to the little store and I got a soap <laughs> I got the soap so I'm going to use this to brush my brows up I have this little brush, I'm going to use that. Um, I saw people doing this. I wonder if I'm supposed to wet the brush. I think the soap is supposed to make it, well, stay in place. There is a, a, a beauty procedure. Am I saying this right? There, you can go to a saloon, a beauty saloon, and get um, something called a, bra, a lash. What do you call that thing? Oh my gosh. Lash, um, lash perm, where you use some kind of thing, like a chemical thing and it's going to make your brows stay in place like like this it's going to make your brows stay in place like this for about 6 weeks but of course, not everyone wants to do that and it's also sometimes expensive so you know, if you are trying to be on a budget you can just like buy a soap, brow soap and try this out and it should last all day from what I've seen on the videos I have on makeup, that's why the brush might look kind of brown so I put on some part of foundation already and I'm wearing false eyelashes <laughs> when I pull eyelashes, I put on eyelash extensions and if you want to see how to put on eyelash extensions yourself I will leave a link to my video somewhere here you can check it out, I'll put a link in the description as well if you want to also do your own eyelash extensions not the false ones that you put on top of your eye and it's really difficult that is too hard so this one should be fine okay so i went and i wet the brush a bit because i think i saw someone also wet their brush or wet the soap or something and then when it dries it should be set to make my brows look really fluffy like a model magazine like a like a magazine model yeah i was watching i see that i was looking like just really natural looking but definitely like this it's so it looks sort of brushed up and almost as if they put absolutely nothing on it but i know they do they do things someone once told me that people who have their brows just like sort of fluffy like this brushed up mainly look at the magazine cover you're gonna see the models, especially if you like beauty products and stuff, they just have their brows brushed up. That's why I really started doing the brow brushing up thing, you know. I normally just use mascara to do it. And it stays. But I wanted to try the soap thing, it looked kinda cool. make it stay in place more. Do you see? Do you, do you see? Do you see that's actually like staying? And I'm just going to let it dry. Oh, one thing that I do before it dries is kind of just use the edge of this thing to just like that. Kind of. A little better. Less crazy. Just a bit, just a tiny bit, like this. Right, I'm gonna let this dry. Right, I think it's dried now. I'm going to use this mascara. It's from MAC. I'm not putting any on my eyelashes because I am wearing eyelash extensions, so normally you don't put mascara on your eyelash extensions, it's forbidden. 
uh, but not in, not set in stone, you know. I'm gonna put this on my lashes now. Just like this. I'm just brushing it up. Sort of like that to make it more dark. And this is a black mascara. I mean, you can use any color you want. Like, if your eyebrows, you don't want it like to look black, black, then you can just use like a dark brown. Dark brown should be fine as well. Yeah, do you know there's something called brow extensions? Yeah, I had my eyebrows microbladed one time and it was pretty cool. I'm definitely probably going to do it again. Like soon, but not right now. You know, I've already tried the microblading, so I think I want to try this other thing before I try the microblading again. The other thing's not as long lasting. The thing where you perm your brows and they stay up like this so you don't have to keep doing this all the time because I mean if I'll have to do this every day with, with this you know and the soap so that's why most people like the semi-permanent makeup where you can have it for like a long time like the micro blading last the micro blading might lasted me like a year and something almost like a year and a half but it, it did start to fade after a while but it did last at least a year looking pretty fresh I still see like little traces under my brow from the from the pigment from the microblading which is pretty cool. I love brushing my brows up with this because it does create little hairs and that makes it look a little more natural. Even though it's like dread black right now. So this is the 23rd of December. Normally, my sisters and I, it's a joke. Like, from reading the Bible and stuff, we're like, um, yeah, today's Christmas Adam because Adam is before Eve and today is the day before Christmas Eve, so therefore it's Christmas Adam. So yeah, today's Christmas Adam. Do you want to hear a funny story? I put Christmas presents under my tree, that tree right there. And my son, who's like almost five, He'll be five next month. Keeps asking me if he can open the presents, and I'm like, no way. So I told him, you have to wait three days. That was yesterday. Now it's two days. Now it's two days. And every second, he's asking me, Mommy, is it like three days already? Is it two days already? Is it time to open the gift? Can I open my gift? And I'm like, no, you can't open the presents. Like, you have to wait until Christmas Day. If you don't wait until Christmas Day, like, no. You know? <laughs> I feel like this one looks really nice and this one doesn't look less nice. What do you think? Yeah, this one looks magazine cover girl. And this one doesn't look quite magazine cover girl. So let me try and fix that. What do I do differently? Why does it look different? Anyway, I think it looks pretty cool. Let me stop doing it before I mess it up. Right. I think it looks fine. Another thing I see people do a lot is that they put a concealer on the around eyes. I'm not sure I want to do that right now. I'm afraid I'm going to mess my eyebrows up because it kind of looks kind of good right now. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to try putting this around without messing it up, I hope. Oh my gosh, should I? Should I try? Oh, I don't know if I should try or not. Mm, what do you think? Try? Don't try. Try? Okay, I'm gonna try. Ah, oh, I'm scared. I'm not so good at this um, concealer thing. Along the eyebrows. But when I do put some, it normally makes a bit of a difference and makes it look more put together. Oh, I feel like I'm squeezing it too much right now.
I have this angled eyebrow brush and I see people use this to like 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 uh okay I'm just gonna do it try I did this one first so I don't want to try so I can blend it out that's the way I was looking for super scared I'm going to mess my eyebrows up with this concealer after I did all of that with the soap and the mascara Do you think it looks better with the mas with the concealer around it? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Okay, time for this one. I need to hurry this up. My battery is about to die. So let me finish this video real quick. Ooh. Why is this hard harder to blend out? This thing with the concealer around the eyebrows can be so frustrating. This one time I saw a girl and she tried to do the thing with the concealer around the eyebrows and she definitely did not blend it in properly. And I was like, oh my god, people sometimes don't really look in the mirror or like properly. Oh, this one time when I tried to do all of that and with the concealer here and there and there and do you know what happened? Apparently I didn't blend it out properly either. And I went to school. I was going to, um, I was going to Costat in Trinidad, and uh, voila, it it like the concealer side to show through the foundation. The clay did not do blending properly, and someone in class told me like at the end of the class. So I sat through the entire class just with this concealer, looking like like that, and they're like, um, it's like oh wait, so like why didn't you tell me before? Um, like during class so like as soon as you saw me looking crazy and they said well I thought it was just like a style or something that you were trying to do like some kind of makeup thing and I'm like yeah but I it wasn't supposed to be like a, a tree thing on my face anyway what do you think about the eyebrows do you think it looks fluffy do you think it looks better than before Thanks for watching and guess what? If you want to learn how to do the eyelash extensions all alone, like in 20 minutes or less, or like no, yeah, in about 20 minutes, you can just do your own eyelash extensions. Check out this video right here. Right here. 
Okay, <laughs> see you in that one. Bunzo. Just to highlight my bones, you know, like not too much. Bye.